Storybook Moments Children's Storybook Read Alouds. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe for new stories. Thank you. Reading aloud to you from the book Disney Pixar Cars Storybook Collection Snow Day by Frank Burroughs Early one morning, Mater awoke to a wonderful surprise. The town of Radiator Springs was completely covered in snow. Whee-hoo! Snow Day, he yelled as he threw on his favorite winter hat and drove into town. Mater was always happy on the first snowfall of the season, but this time was different. Now his best friend Lightning McQueen was living in Radiator Springs. Everyone in town was busy cleaning up the snow. Sheriff and Red had just finished clearing Main Street. The other cars were making sure customers could get into their shops. As Mater pulled into Flo's V8 Cafe, he saw lightning. The race car had snow tires on, so he wouldn't slip and slide. Hey, buddy, said Mater. Looks like you're ready to go play in the snow. That's right, Mater, replied lightning. Let's hit the slopes. Mater and Lightning drove around the corner and saw their friend, Ramon. He had just finished giving himself a new paint job. He had white snowflakes on his hood and doors, or an icy shade of blue. Lightning and Mater were impressed. Nice paint job, Ramon, said Lightning. Can you give me a new look, too? Sure. The hot rod replied, I can add some snowflakes that will go with your shade of red. Ramon took Lightning and Mater over to his shop and got to work. Soon, Lightning was sporting some snowflakes. As soon as Ramon had finished painting, Lightning rushed over to a mirror. How do you like your new snow style? asked Ramon. It's great, Lightning said. Thanks, Ramon. Now it's time to go dashing through the snow, Mater said. The two friends roared off. Lightning and Mater rolled through the snow until they reached the top of the largest hill in town. Race you to the bottom, said Mater. Last one down has a rusty crankshaft. You're on, replied Lightning. On your mark, get set, go! Lightning was fast, but Mater took the lead. He laughed as he plowed through the snow. Lightning tried to pass him on the right. Mater blocked him. Then Lightning tried to pass him on the left, but Mater swerved in front of him. Snow away, Lightning! Mater chuckled. Try again! Halfway down the hill, one of Mater's wheels hit a patch of ice. The tow truck spun around and around until he was driving backward. Watch out below, as he cried and skidded and crashed into a huge pile of snow. You win, said Lightning as he rolled to a stop. After helping Mater out of the snowbank, Lightning led him over to a frozen lake. Sarge was checking the ice to make sure it wouldn't crack if the cars skated on it. It looks okay to me, said Lightning. Better safe than sorry, replied Sarge, as he moved slowly across the ice. Finally, he called out, All clear! It was time to skate! Lightning watched Sally glide along the ice. She was a great skater. I can do that, he said to himself, as he tried some of her moves. 
but he didn't do so well. He slipped and spun around in circles until he was dizzy. You may know a lot about racing, Sally said with a laugh, but you still have a few things to learn about ice skating. She showed off her snow tires, which were helping her stay on track. Meanwhile, Ramon and Flo were gliding around the ice. Slow and low is the way to go, even on the ice and snow, said Ramon. Luigi and Guido didn't agree. They raced each other across the lake until they were both out of breath. That's when Mater had a great idea for a game. He used his hook and cable to take Luigi and Guido for a spin. Toot toot! All aboard the Mater Express! He yelled as he slowly began to pull his friends faster and faster across the ice. We've got speed limits on the ice too, said Sheriff. Slow down before someone gets hurt. You betcha, replied Mater, as he pulled Guido and Luigi in a wide loop around Sally and Lightning. That looks like fun, said Sally. Yeah, said Lightning, if you can keep your wheels under you. He was still trying to learn to skate. Everyone was having a wonderful time, except for Lizzie. She didn't really like the cold weather. This is freezing, she said. I can't feel the tread on my tires anymore. Come take a break by the fire, suggested Fillmore. It's nice and warm over here. Just as the cars finished skating, the snow began to fall again. Some of the cars started to head back home. But Mater had a better idea. Let's catch some snowflakes on our tongues, he said. Lightning stuck out his tongue like Mater. They drove around trying to catch the falling snow. Before long, Red and Sally joined them. This is so much fun, exclaimed Sally. Meanwhile, Luigi and Guido were getting ready for a snowball fight. They waited behind a tree with a huge pile. Soon they saw some of their friends coming down the road. Guido smiled at Luigi. Then he turned back to the road and launched snowballs at Mater and Lightning. Watch out, Mater! Lightning yelled as he ducked for cover. Mater drove in reverse. He dodged one snowball, then hid behind a tree. But when he peeked out to check if the coast was clear, he saw Guido tossing five snowballs his way. Ow! 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 said Mater as the snowballs hit his roof. Now that's gonna leave a mark. A little while later, the cars rolled into town. The sun was beginning to set. One by one, the neon lights from the storefronts flickered on, lighting up the sky. Everyone stopped to enjoy the beautiful colors that bounced off the clean white snow. The town looks great, said Sally. It really is a winter wonderland. Sure is, said Lightning. Would you like to take a cruise with me down Main Street? He asked. I'd love to, replied Sally. Just then, Mater pulled up beside them. Did you have a good snow day, Lightning? asked Mater. Honestly, said Lightning, I didn't have as much fun as I'm going to have tomorrow when I zip past you on the snowy hill. You better have a light breakfast, joked Mater, cause you're gonna be eating lots of snow while trying to catch up to me. You're on, Lightning said with a smile. After a long day of playing in the snow, all the cars headed over to Flo's. There's nothing better than a warm sip on a cold winter night, said Lightning. You're wrong, buddy, replied Mater. 
It's better to have friends to share a can after a long day of fun. You got that right, replied Flo. Now drink up before it gets cold. I hope you enjoyed this Cars book. For more books read aloud, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a lovely day.